Rivers are the arteries of continents. In their way down, they drag sediments and nutrients that are deposited downstream in banks and deltas, shaping the landscape. They transport fresh water, an essential resource for life, and contribute to the health of ecosystems and the well-being of human communities. But only one-third of the world's big rivers currently flow free, unhampered by dams or channels. In the mountains of Durango in Mexico, springs the San Pedro Mezquital, the last free-flowing river in the Sierra Madre. Its waters, of immense symbolic value, link and provide identity to the indigenous cultures of the region. A 500-kilometer-long system that connects the high Sierra with the coastal plains and feeds with water and nutrients Marismas Nacionales, the largest mangrove in the Mexican Pacific and a wetland of international importance. A maze of channels and lagoons teeming with life, source of livelihood for thousands of families dedicated to agriculture, fishing and tourism. But the San Pedro Mezquital is in danger. Plans to build the Las Cruces Dam threaten the free flow of its waters. The dam would irreversibly modify the river course, flooding 4,000 hectares inhabited by indigenous communities and 14 of their sacred sites. The alteration of the natural flood pulses would drastically reduce the input of water, sediments and nutrients into the lower basin, which are fundamental factors for the continuity of Marismas Nacionales, its biodiversity and the rich economy of the area. That with agriculture, fisheries and tourism maintains each year 12,000 families, five times more than the short-lived employment that the construction would generate. The productivity of these wetlands embraces the whole region and even reaches into the open sea where it generates every year more than 13 million dollars in fisheries. Is it reasonable to sacrifice this richness and the future of these communities for a dam that would only operate during the rainy season and supply less than 1% of the regional demand for electricity? Although it is true that dams are a source of renewable energy, we seldom give a value to the services that are lost when a river is dammed. Protecting the last free-flowing rivers is not a luxury. It is an ecological and economic necessity. Will we be capable of finding a sustainable alternative to large dams? <laughs>